like from our Doral camera, we are seeing the clouds. And also as we check in from our Key West camera, actually a different view, plenty of sunshine there. And there's the storms as we're seeing the bulk of the activity is over on the west side, but we're also dealing with some lightning and even some downpours already in spots. Lighthouse Point right now dealing with some wet weather as well as earlier in Deerfield Beach. And we also have showers near Lauderdale by the sea as well as just pushing out of Fort Lauderdale northward. Dania Beach and Fort Lauderdale Airport dealing with some shower activity, light to moderate rain across North Miami Beach as well as Opalaka, Medley, seeing some lightning there near Hialeah and Medley in Miami Springs. So if you hear that thunder roar, you want to head indoors. Showers pushing across Pinecrest, Palmetto Bay, Country Walk, Kendall, Cutler Bay, and look at all that lightning there near Princeton and Goulds, as well as across the Lower Keys. And the breeze right now out of the southeast, about 614 miles an hour, and rain cooled 79 in Homestead, yet 89 in Southwest Ranches, where we haven't seen as much rain. 85 in Fort Lauderdale, 87 in Miami, 91 in Marathon, where it feels like 106 degrees because it is so steamy and we're feeling like the mid to upper 90s for much of Miami Dade and Broward County. So yes, you need that extra bottle of water, but you also need the rain gear with storms around today and the potential for some gusty winds and lightning and downpours that look could lead to some localized flooding. As we take you through hour by hour, the model showing that as we get into around 1, 2, 3 p.m., still dealing with those scattered storms that could produce some heavy pockets of rain even as we get into 4 or 5 p.m. for the evening commute. So just plan ahead and then later tonight should be relatively quiet. We do have the slight risk of rip currents at the beach and obviously now starting to see those afternoon storms roll eastward towards the coast and the ocean. So keep that in mind and be safe. UV index is very high. Boaters wind south southeast 5 to 10 knots. seas too. a light chop on the bays and tonight could see a stray shower warm and muggy 79 degrees. So we'll continue with these scattered storms today as we have high pressure and control but a trough as well keeping us unsettled. Southerly flow turning more westerly as we get into Friday means that we could see some pop up storms in the tropics still quiet. Right now we have some dry air, wind shear, Saharan dust that's keeping everything in check and cyclone development not expected over the next five days. As we get into your Thursday tomorrow, still the chance for some scattered storms, more spotty in nature Friday and Saturday and Sunday depends. It looks like some moisture may be increasing, leading to some scattered storms.